Kaz Milligan is a liar, I think. My name's Danza, and today I'm going to be discussing the man that is Kaz Milligan. Now, if you've got any idea who this guy is, a quick history lesson. Essentially, he's a TikToker that also hosted a charity boxing match a couple of months ago. Kaz rose to fame when he ordered a Starbucks and ordered a chocolate cream. And ever since then, Kaz has tried to keep himself relevant. To everybody's surprise, he still is a year and a half later. And in that attempt to stay relevant, he done a charity boxing match. The match was between him and another TikToker called The Property Boss. Now, the entire event might have went quite well on the night, but technically, and I mean like the running it behind the scenes, it was an absolute shambles. Many people, including myself, bought the pay-per-view, which was an absolute riot. It just didn't work. But there's a bigger issue at hand here that doesn't quite add up to me. I watched a video with Kaz saying that the ticket sales profits all went to charity. The profits from the ticket sales was six grand, six thousand pounds. So I've got all the tabs up of the charities. He said that he donated six thousand pounds, which 100% is a great result for charity. But what was it he said again? Time to donate the ticket profits. So why don't we try and work out some of that profit? The tickets for the event, which there were 700 of, standard seats cost 30 quid, premium seats cost 40 quid, and VIP table seating 10 people cost 750 quid. Now, we all know that that event was sold out by the many, many videos of Kaz saying that it was sold out. We sold out the whole entire event. Standard tickets, gone. Premium tickets, gone. VIP ticket tables, gone. Now, annoyingly, it would be really good to know how all the seats were all broken down in pricing. Oh, wait, we do know. There's going to be 350 seats at the back end as well. So these seats, they're going to be 30 quid. The 100 seats at each end of the walkout will be 40 quid each. There's going to be around 15 tables in total. And then the tables are 750. As Cash just said there, 200 seats at 40 pound, which equals to eight grand, 350 seats at 30 pound, which equals 10,500 pound, and finally 15 tables at 750 pound each, which equals to 11,250 pounds. Bringing the total amount made from ticket sales to be 29,750 pounds. Hang on a minute, just remind me. How much did Kaz say he was going to be to charity again? Six grand. Oh aye, aye. Six thousand pounds. Which leaves 23,750 quid. Now before anybody thinks he's just stolen 23 grand, let, hold on, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Again, annoyingly, we don't really know how much this sort of event would take to put on. If only somebody had costed up how much it would cost to put this event on. <laughs> oh wait, I did. I emailed the Normandy Hotel in Paisley where Kaz held his boxing event and I asked to get a quote to do an event for 700 people. They came back with a quote of £2,500 to hire the room and then another £250 to use the PA system, bringing the venue hire total to £2,750. I contacted quite a few UK based boxing ring companies. Quite a few of them got back but I went with the cheapest quote because obviously if you were doing this for charity you would go for the cheapest quote you could get because you want to make as much money for charity obviously so the cheapest quote that i got was for a company called cage hire and that quote was 1050 pounds so in total kaz's cost would have came to roughly and i mean roughly 3800 pound leaving 19950 pound oh and by the way that doesn't include any of the sponsorships that he had for to be tanned to be tanned is our main sponsor for the boxing event and the raffles that they've done on the night as well which would have made another couple of grand now, I know what you're going to say in the comments, but he paid people to be there, he had staff to be there, he had people making it, he had people filming it. But realistically, the only two things that should have been taken off the cost of the event would have been the venue and the boxing ring. Because everything else, Kaz could have sorted himself. None of the production costs should have been taken off that, because Kaz has got a production company. I'm here to announce the new phenomenon. Legan Studios. We've covered hairdressers and barbers, events, weddings, and much more. Legan Studios, bringing artistic visions to reality. So surely his own company produced it, no? Because again, like I said, you would want to keep every cost as low as possible so that as much money could go to charity as possible. No, you might just be sitting there thinking, oh, you're just riding the coattails of this event and you're, you're jumping on the bandwagon of Slate and Kaz. I was stupid enough to buy two tickets to his bloody event. I paid 60 quid like an absolute plum on two standard seats, but I ended up not being able to go on the night. So in the end, I just paid for the £12 pay-per-view so I could just watch it in my house. Also, by the way, the price of the pay-per-view started at £12 and then it went up to £15 and then it went up to £20. 
So you might also be wondering what's happening with the pay-per-view money. Well, Kaz did do a video about the pay-per-view money. I'm going to now show you donating all the money to charity. And he also showed that he donated £6,600 to charity. Again, a massive amount. But let's just work that out a wee bit. We can only assume that this is profits, gone by the fact that the other amount was profits as well. So £6,600, let's just call best case scenario divided by the £12 price point for the pay-per-view, would mean 550 people had bought a ticket to watch this pay-per-view. Now, this event, as stupid as it was, it had a lot of people talking about it. I refuse to believe that only 550 people bought a pay-per-view ticket. Oh, and also that I found a picture that my pal had sent me of him trying to watch it as well and there was 1,800 people watching it which just to let you know divided by that £12 is £21,000 although a lot of people did get a refund so we don't actually know the full numbers we don't know the full breakdowns of that which brings me to this Kaz my friend I know you're definitely going to be watching this so I offer you up an ultimatum if you do a full video and I literally mean a full video how much it costs to put the event on how much you made for it and how much you donated to charity because mate you're a businessman you must have this all written down somewhere you must know exactly how much was brought in and how much was put back out again also a breakdown for the pay-per-view sales as well because that's no clear at all nobody really knows how much you made for it and nobody really knows how many people got refunds either if you do all this and show all your workings i'll donate a thousand pounds to the children's charity when you wish upon a star because right now, sadly, I just can't believe that a massive chunk of that money actually went to charity. Because it just seems a bit odd that as soon as the event was finished and a couple of days later you were posting on TikTok that you went to holiday in Santorini. Welcome to the Santorini apartment tour. You were also bragging that you'd spent five grand on the hotel. So as you can see, it's 2,100 per person. So the holiday came to around four and a half grand. And then a couple of days after that, you took a wee jaunt to Paris and went to Disneyland Paris for a few days, which everybody knows isn't cheap. Oh, and also, by the way, this isn't beef, right? This isn't fake TikTok beef. I'm only going to upload two videos on this entire subject. This video being the first video, and the second video will be my response, whether that is... I'll hold my horns up and apologise because Kaz has proved everything and I'm an idiot for no calculating my sums right. And also at the end of that video, I'll donate the thousand pound to charity. Oh, and by the way, see if everything has been correctly donated and you can prove all your costs and production costs. You tell me a charity and I'll donate another £500. But honestly, the only reply that I'm going to entertain is a breakdown of costs. I'm not going into a, a battle with you, mate. I, this isn't going to be a back and forward. But see what it all comes back to. See if you had done this boxing event that was just a normal boxing event. It was purely for profits. You could have done whatever you wanted. You could have done what you're doing just now and charged £200 for a front row ticket at the Hydro. You went on the internet and you say that this was a 100% for charity event. That means that everything's going to be scrutinised and you you need to prove your costs and your profit. It's as simple as that. This is the last thought I'm going to give this until some kind of reply comes out. Unless it's breakdowns, I could not care less. So there you go, Kaz. The balls are indeed in your court.